let's look at the id selector so let's save our file and we'll use the same class and we'll convert into an id selector okay we'll call it as id and how do you define an id selector instead of dot you mentioned hash okay so we're going to convert all these things into id selectors so we can create same name one with class and one with even id selector okay similarly for the green border we'll create one more id selector even for h1 italics for this one we can create the similar names and also for h1 dot green border how gonna how you think we're gonna write the id selector so instead of dot you mention hash that's all you have to do all right so let's start applying the rule okay there is a difference between id and the class because you see you have same rules one with id and one with class so you have to understand what is the difference between id and the class so we're going to discuss some of the differences here and we'll also understand how to apply id okay so for id you have a property called id and you just have to mention the property name so i'll say green border and i'm gonna say id selector custom name right and similarly you can mention class okay same green border you can say id selector this is nothing but the class selector custom name right you just have to say class right so you have the green borders you just selected that's why the color changes but it's both basically the green borders right now what is the difference you cannot have multiple rules for id selector let's say you want to do text italics okay and you save it it's not applied it here actually the rule itself is gone right but if you do same thing for class selector that's possible so remember this difference for id selector you have to have one selector you cannot have multiple selectors with the spaces okay once you do that means the actual rule will be gone it consider everything as one selector right for class you can loop the selectors with the spaces okay that's one of the differences and id should only be one per element you cannot have two per element okay so let's quickly write those as a comment so you understand the difference between id selectors and class class selectors id should be only one per element that's what we saw previously okay and ids are unique you cannot duplicate it you're gonna see that then each element can only have one id you can you cannot have multiple ids and each page the at the page level can have only element with that id okay you cannot even duplicate the id at the page level okay i'm going to show you that what that example means all right so what is this rule that says ids are unique okay you should not create something like this okay you should not repeat ids inside the same element you can repeat the id in the different elements but don't try to make a habit of writing ids of the same elements all right it won't take much impact but the way it is id is been used id is basically an identifier for your element and if you go to javascript id is basically will be a reference point of this element in the dom so typically when we write id we tend to have unique names we don't want to duplicate names you'll have challenges when you want to mention ids for your element that is nothing but the reference names of your element and if you duplicate it then it's hard to find unique elements in the html pages so it's always recommended the ids should be unique so most of the time you will find yourself to work with classes because classes once you mention then it's you can have multiple selectors using the classes the other benefits which we're going to discuss and also id is nothing but your reference of an element so typically you use it for referring that element
okay and make sure you don't duplicate ids for each of the elements okay so let's look some of the differences between id and css let's get a new file and find some differences there 